Hello, I'm Gaston Garcia for Event Live, and today I'm going to show you eight ways in which videographers can make more money in 2022. It's no secret that the entire world is consuming online videos on a daily basis. Most of that video is user-generated content like TikTok and Instagram Reels, but brands that want to succeed will end up hiring a professional videographer sooner or later. That's where you come in. The market has never been better for videographers, and today I want to show you a few ways in which you can make some extra money with the tools and knowledge that you already have. The first way in which you can make more money is recording social events. Obvious, I know. We know the pandemic hit videographers harder than most, and with all venues closing their doors for several months, but things are changing. The world is reopening. More people have been vaccinated, which means that you can go and do what you do best, create some gorgeous films at live events. The best part about social events is that the pay is better than most other alternatives on this video. Once you establish yourself as a proficient videographer in a small niche, your income is almost guaranteed. The worst part is that they are exhausting. Riding after brides all day or setting up a multi-camera setup every 10 minutes surely is a way to get swollen feet at the end of the day. The second one on our list is live streaming events. Weddings, funerals, theater plays, concerts, conferences. Just like social events went down because of the pandemic, live streaming events skyrocketed during the last 18 months. It's been a roller coaster that you can jump into at any time. Many videographers used the equipment they already had to start live streaming events as soon as COVID-19 hit the news. Some offer intimate weddings, such as elopements and socially distanced events, while others discovered massive success on live streaming funerals for the ones who couldn't say goodbye to their families. The best part about live streaming events is that it requires very little to get it started, and it's probably the easiest way on this video to make some extra money. Some people use a private live streaming app while with an iPhone and a gimbal, while others went for the full gear route with a MacBook and a two camera setup using a platform such as Event Live. The worst part about live streaming events? You might need to acquire a Wi Fi hotspot if you work on locations with poor signal. If you live in a rural area, you rely on decent Wi Fi to be able to stream smoothly. The third spot on our list belongs to corporate events. This one shouldn't be too high on our rankings because it doesn't work for everybody. But if you live in a big city, corporate events are a fantastic way to mix the first two methods to make money, social events and live streaming. The best part about corporate events is that if you do a good job, they will call you over and over again. It's a way to future-proof your videography business. The worst part, it's not that easy to get uh, the connections you need to get your first booking. That can be solved by reaching out to the right people and letting everyone know that you're also working with companies to produce content for them. The fourth spot on our ranking is real estate. This market, just like live streaming, went through the roof during the pandemic. Many families realized that the place they live in isn't really comfortable to spend long hours inside. They're looking for more greenery, a bigger backyard, or simply a more up-to-date home. Real estate prices went higher than ever, and most real estate photographers and videographers are fully booked because of this. Everybody wants to sell while the prices are high, they can only do so with the right imagery. You can jump into this opportunity using the same tools you already have. It's easy to learn for skilled videographers, and depending on your area, real estate brokers might already be looking for someone like you. Companies like the Hancock Group and hire videographers for about between 40,000 and 50,000 US dollars per filming and editing videos that highlight real estate listings at a full time job. If you're looking for a part time job, companies are paying anywhere between 25 to 30 grand for your skills. This is in US dollars. E commerce videos take the fifth spot on our rankings. With more and more brands offering their products online, e commerce platforms are in need of your talents and expertise. While e commerce photographers have several options to get into these markets, for videographers, the options are a bit more limited. For most gigs, you'll have to work with a photographer on set to produce videos to show how the products are used. It might not be the most creative job out there, but it sure is an effective way to bring some extra income on the side. The best part about working on e-commerce sets is that once you nail the aesthetic the brand is looking for, it's all about reproducing similar footage. The worst part is that your creative skills might not always be used as brands already have a defined style that you just need to replicate. Ranking number six belongs to high school events, sports, plays, and graduations. And I hope I'm not offending anybody with the following statement. These are easy money. I know, I know, easy money does not exist. But hear me out. You don't have the stress of losing the bride's first look or emotional bounce. You don't have to frame cinematic compositions for everything that moves. 
You don't have to sit down and edit every jump cut to the beat of the music. Honestly, if you're good at it, they will hire you again for next year to shoot the exact same event. Graduations, plays, similar events are a fantastic way to offer different services. You can sell feature film, live streaming, which might give you the opportunity to show the brand to every family member that watches your live event. I can think of a better way to grow your videography business and contact list than this. It's really easy. The seventh spot on our ranking involves creating short videos for businesses. Remember what I was saying before about us consuming an insane amount of content? You can be the one creating it. This shop requires a lot more creativity than the previous ones and sometimes even more equipment to get started. Sure, uh, you can do it with your phone and a small microphone, but most brands will hire you to give them an edge in image quality compared to most influencers out there. The best part about this one is that once you, a few of your videos go viral, you can leverage the numbers to get new clients. The worst part is that the initial payment might be low for the number of hours you need to put in. Eventually, they'll pay what you're worth, but you need to show your value first. It's not an easy market. The last spot on our list belongs to editing gigs. Are you a quick on Final Cut? What about on Premiere? Are you a talented motion graphics designer? If so, you're in luck. These jobs aren't the easiest to get, but they pay pretty well for a couple of days sitting with a cup of coffee in front of the computer. If you're looking for editing gigs, Upwork is a good way to start. You can skip services such as Fiverr and other websites that pay pennies per hour for a lousy job. Personally, I'm a people person. I prefer to be on the field with a simple broadcasting setup, while my clients rave about the magic of being able to see it live. And the pay per, ma per hour, it's so much better. That's why I chose live streaming. When looking for extra ways to make money, don't forget to check our blog at eventlive.pro. We're always looking for interesting conversations with videographers about the best way to grow their business. If you're interested in expanding your videography packages to offer more services such as live streaming, subscribe to our channel. We'll share more content like this every week. See you soon. Thank you.